up and why in the whole world it's your boy vague the king of the queen in the ring you rocking out where we got that radio this shit is liddy Two times. We face the voice of Brooklyn. We got that TV. We got that TV. We got that TV. If it's music, you know we got that Interviews with who, with who, you know we got that About fashion, hey, you know we got that The video just drop it, hey, you know we got that Hey, hey, you know we got that Shite's the voice of Brooklyn. You know we got that Hey, you know we got that Hello? Oh no, no, I don't. I don't comprende. I don't understand what you say. You're not talking my language. Oi. Then my phone going crazy. I got what it needs to go crazy. I'm the man around here. If you ever see a phone to my ear, just know I'm on my line. On my line, on my line, on my line. I'm on my line. On my line, on my line, on my line. I'm on my line. On my line, on my line. You hear that? I'm on my line. On my line. Hang up on a nigga. Tell Trump I get it by the borderline. I need some of yours and I need all of mine. I hit a wire rapper with them corny lines. Hit a bad pointer with a storyline. Hey, when niggas call me about that money shop. Nigga, shut the fuck up, let that money talk. Yo, bitch, a gold digger, mine on all you niggas. She get dressed up just to go say no to niggas. Ah. Red rum, red rum, feds running with that bread from. Some dead running with them feds come when I throw that money in the edit, bitches pick it up and don't let it leave his bread crumbs. I be smoking till I feel my chest numb. I don't know if I can feel my left lung, but I get back. Motherfucker, get back. I'm the body man. I be in your mama crib strap. Bush you bun tan. Boom boom bye. Boom boom bye. Crap. In the club. Fresh up off the block. Smelling like crap. You talking my name. I'm listening. I hear you. I know. What you saying? What you saying? What you saying? You ain't talking my name. On my line. On my line. You hear that? Delta. You hear that? Skr, skr. Hang up on the nigga. Damn, my phone going crazy. Yeah. I got what it need to go crazy. <laughs> I'm the man around here. If you ever see a phone to my ear, just know I'm on my line. On my line, on my line, on my line. I'm on my line. On my line, on my line, on my line. I'm on my line. On my line, on my line. You hear that? I'm on my line. Hang up on a nigga. What you doing? I'm scarring. I be balling. I think I'm jutting. Get money all night and tell the money. All I do is get the money. I'm so boring. Then I wake up and I kick up and I go on by the if I dream about the money, then I'm going back to bed I be blowing out the lid, or the Maddie with the heat And your wife, he call me Zaddy, yeah, that's daddy with a C You got a daddy, let me see Boss it, boss it, boss it real wide You can get money, money on the Instagram, but you ain't touching none in real life I'm gonna fuck it up in real life, like, hey, fuck it up in real life, like right? Shake him out of my shirt, it look like the sun is up, it's real bright I pay for ass shots and tears, then I'ma pump it up and feel right Holy cow, chop a rumkin, chill it low, chill it low The gal, Louis rumkin, chop a style, chop a chop a style In the club, lady by the couch, titties by the pal You talking my name, I'm listening, I hear you I know. What you saying, what you saying, what right. you saying You ain't talking my name, on my line, on my line, you hear Delta. You hear that? Skr, skr. Hang up on the nigga. Then my phone going crazy. I got what it needs to go crazy. I'm the man around here. If you ever see a phone to my ear, just know I'm on my line. On my line, on my line, on my line. I'm on my line. On my line, on my line, on my line. I'm on my line. On my line, on my line. You hear that? I'm on my line. On my line. Hang up on that nigga. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Shice, the voice of Brooklyn. And your girl, Erica Ocean. And you already know the baddest DJ out of the land. Says the girl, Keisha Mar, your boy DJ Tazzy, aka that Brown Ranger. Why you always forget the other name? <laughs> Shit nasty. No. <laughs> it's not gonna catch on. Yo, what's up, y'all? Welcome to another episode of We Got That. Without further ado, my guest that came in. We have my man Grind Season Vague in the building. What's 
Man, if y'all one time. You yes. get, you ain't come on time. How did you not get came on black people time? He came on black people time. You know, I do radio, so I know. I need my first little bit of time to set up and do what I got to do before the guests come. I don't right. ever put a guest on right away. Right. So that's, that's, a why, that's why I came. You know, that's I got a time to introduce y'all. Show what's up, though. See, so you, you can't be messing with guys that do the same thing. Because then you see, you all messed up. You can't. You ain't special no more at that point. You know what I'm saying? You know when I do the interviews, they hate it because they ask me a question. I just say exactly what I need to say, like, what I need to get out. Like I'll put it into the answer. So if you don't know who Grind Season Vague is, please explain who you are and what you do, sir. Um, basically, I was an artist. I can start, I can start way back. I did with Columbia like in '03. Mm. I was doing Fight Club and shit like that with uh -oh. International P Shop, International P or whatever. And um, from there I got discovered by AG, show with AG. Mm. So I started messing with them and party all you know what I mean? I came around the rapping. You know, we had uh -huh. to rap, you know what I'm saying? Right. And, and then if y'all didn't see our clip, you the saw that, rap, was, that was that was him uh, rapping. Yeah, yeah, I don't <laughs> rap no more. I do if it's not a, if I gotta do too much, I'm not gonna do the record. But um, then after that, um, you know the deals came three sixty. Mm. I lost my deal with Columbia quick fast though. To mention that, I lost that shit quite. Tommy and Tola wanted to put me on Casablanca. Okay. I curved that. I was like, <laughs> scared, you know what I mean? I, was, I, I, I couldn't do it. Like, I had to go hustle and get money, you know what I'm saying? Right. So I couldn't even, I knew I couldn't dedicate to that deal. Right. Because that's Tommy and Tola, you know what I'm saying? He right. won. Like, he could have won 100% out of you. Like, he worked with Michael Jackson exactly. and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? So Word. I knew I couldn't give it. Me and my What? You girl. wouldn't even try it? I was a hustler. I was young, I was selling drugs. Like, Man, was, but that's like you said, Tommy knew, well, Motola, dude. Yeah, but I had to think about right now. I just had a kid. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to see when this motherfucker give me some paper. Like, Do you think that, that that's one of the mistakes that a lot of people make that we think about right now and not think about later? It's a gift and a curse. Yes, I believe that. It's a gift and a curse. <laughs> he like, you know, you're not going to get me. If you, if you, if you, if you could go back and all what you know now, would you go back and take the deal and put in your 100% or yeah, would you yeah, still yeah, do yeah, it? Yeah, 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 absolutely. Absolutely. Because like, okay. if I could go back and I know all the information, right. I know if I could take it back with me, I'd be like, oh, the internet's about to blow up. And I would know all that already, so right. I would do it. Definitely exactly. do it. You know what I'm saying? But, but it's hard. So after that, um, I stopped rapping. I, I started trying to produce. Mm. I didn't like it. It was getting boring for me because... Like I was, I was working. I, like I threw some beats to Fred the God and Charlie Clips. And it wasn't really hitting. Like I was like, no, I want right. Mano on my shit at right. that time. Yeah, right. I hate. I want. But you hear now? Like that. Yeah. So, so would you go back and do it? I'm, I'm gonna go I'm get back on it. All right. That's what. That's see. That's what we need. I'm to Get back on it. That's dope. I did. I, might I, check I, I did the too. Fight Club too. That's how I really got by. I did the Fight Club and I was going by the name <coughs> Vegas, but they used to call me Vague for short, so I just spelled it out like the word. Right. And I looked up the meaning and it just I was made sense. I about that too. You can still ask me about that. <laughs> yeah, get yeah, So Make it formal. Get yeah, it they, <laughs> they wanted me to battle Ali Vegas. Oh. So we set it up, boom. Like with Fight Club, they told you on who you was battling that day. It wasn't like now how you could prepare. Or right. And, uh, they told you how you going to battle him. Like, so you have to just. Have the bar so this that. whole thing is in your blood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah so that's when it's, that's when we're gonna get good. So after that, the day of the day before the battle on Sunday, International P calls me like, because you know, um, Ali Vegas has Lamar over. Right. Him. He was like, Lamar said he's only gonna do it because we was battling for the name. They already for the Vegas thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Up. I like so that. They already saw my tapes because you know they had the tapes. Uh -huh. Right. So they saw my tapes and then you know. My nigga from the hood, he was like 10,000. Only way we're gonna do it. I'm like, wow. my man, you just got in the NBA. You got 10,000 exactly. to put up. Put up. Exactly. I don't. I don't even got a thousand right now to exactly. put up. Well, if I do, that's the most I can put up. Right. They was not trying to have that, so I, I figured it sounded like he was scared, so they threw the 10,000 exactly. and I didn't have it just right. because they saw the tapes mm, or what I was wow. already doing. You know what I'm saying? So after that, I started doing, uh, I, I did an interview on with, um, DJ Bedtime. Mm -hmm. So I just, um, called up one day, my man was on the show, and bedtime I was wilding on the phone, and he was like, yo, we want to bring you on the show. Like, off a phone call. So I went up there, whatever, whatever, and um, I did an interview, and then I spoke to them people up there, and they gave me a show. They're like, yo, you want you, you know what I'm saying? So I did that. After that, I, um, so I met Smack. You know, I was already popping in the street. I knew niggas from the streets. Right. I knew rappers from the streets. Mm -hmm. and I was already in the mix and the loop or whatever, whatever. So Smack, my number's like, yo, do a tournament for um, the URL. Okay. Whatever, whatever. I met him through Cortez. Shout to Cortez. I met him through Cortez and shit because I was working with Cortez. Real, right? Working with him. 
So I did the tournament, shit blew up, like packed house, first one. Smack was like, How much you yo. Uh, no, nah, I ain't get paid. I did a free event. Mm. Be a friend, cause I was doing a favor. This is smack. I'm like, I, I'm getting smack. They gave, from it, the smack. They gave you, yeah, yeah, yeah. He gave me an opportunity right. to do a solid. I'm gonna come solid with exactly. this. You know what I'm saying? Vag, you are CEO, founder of Queens of the Ring. Queen of the Ring is not yeah. an S, right? No, no, queen of the Ring. Yeah, that's right. Can't be more than one queen. Okay, I'm sorry. Sorry, right, yeah. leading up to that, after the Smack tournament, oh, called King of the Ring. I'm sorry. I right. didn't know. I did King of the Ring and popped <laughs> off, and then I did Queen of the Ring. So, so you still you still own you King of the Ring? Yeah, I still own that. I still own that. I don't do events like that. I do them like once a year. I do them. Yeah. Do you ever feel like yo, my inner uh, artist wants to come out and I want to battle? Do you ever get like that sometimes? Nah, honestly, I'm not even gonna like battle rap like that. No, I, I watch who I like. So like you, I'm not a dude that'll just watch every battle. That so you out. won't even show up. You just be like, yo, somebody handle that. I'm not coming. <laughs> What's well, the events? Yeah. No, no, no. I show up to all my events. Right? Sure that would be unprofessional. Sure nah. But when you're a events. boss and you're a CEO, you have people in place though. Yeah. So. Yeah, but I'm the host, so I gotta be there, and I'm the. Uh-huh. I'm, I, you know, I'm. The I can take that for you. If I'm you hands want. on on everything. Look, you know I can take. I can. Look I can host for you. Look, you saw it. Did you see it? Hold on, hold on. Slide it over. Slide it you know, did you see it? <laughs> <laughs> so, slide it in. How is that going for you, though? Queen of the Ring is though. That shit took me all around the world. Like, mm. When is the next one? We're we actually working on that right now. We got the uh, card together, so we're getting sponsors together and everything. Yeah, I need to know. I want to come see one of those live in person. I, we I can't around, rap. We get love everywhere but New York. I can't rap. Nothing. You don't get love in New York? But like I can't. No? Are you That's serious? That's crazy. That and that, and I mean, they show love in New York, but it's not like out of town. Atlanta. Right. Right. They LA. go hard. LA. They go hard. But that's crazy imagine. because you know, when we was in LA, you would have thought we was in New York. The way they was the like, really? was like, yo, I, sp- I was out there for like eight maybe days. it's I because it's so common here. It's York. not really common though. Like that 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 avenue with him and Smack is like these dudes are coming from everywhere. So it's not New York like that, but I don't understand because again, a New Yorker, you got Babs with you, who's also a New Yorker. Facts. Like I don't, I don't get why we went. And this is what I hate: we don't support our own. And we it seems like all the New York dudes is going out to Atlanta, or you know they everywhere but in New York. You know what it is in New York? Everybody's doing something. Right. Mm-hmm. Like the city is so cramped up. Everybody's a battle rapper. Everybody's a producer. Mm-hmm. Everybody with the internet. It, allows anybody to be everything. Everybody's but it's like a rapper. Atlanta too, everybody's a trapper. Everybody's a drug dealer. Everybody's a fucking model. scammer. Everybody's a model. Everybody's a bottle <laughs> girl. Everybody, everybody's everything. So you can't tell a motherfucker like, yo, listen to my man's CD. My man raps too. Exactly. Yo, my exactly. man makes beats. My man made beats. I yo, you need a DJ? No, I got a DJ. Exactly. Like, right. My man's everybody's DJ. doing so much and it's like, that shit just builds up shade, man. I mess with everybody. Like that's I don't got no problems with nobody. Like I support anybody. Like I put anybody in a position. I don't want nothing because I'm Muslim. So I'm gonna mm-hmm. get my blessings. You know what right. I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So when I do stuff, people like y'all owe you. Now nah, you don't owe me nothing. Ah, oh, got me, bro. He'll take care of your tax. See, that's right. dope. You don't owe me nothing. You right. know what I'm saying? I put a lot of people on. Like you know what I mean? Like, Give me the biggest person you put on. Put on. Put it this way. I done got all these features with it. Phone thugs, game. Mm. Uh, 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 um, Royce, Joella, uh, I like. Yeah, that goes on. Like, I hear that. I done name got the connect. connects. You know what I'm saying? Like Joella T. And I grew up in Brooklyn. I grew up in Brooklyn. Now I moved to the Bronx. What's your passion, though? My kids. Me, kids. Like, yeah, I How like many that. kids you have? Four. Okay. And I ain't gonna lie. Cause I, I watch I watch you on the gram and stuff, and you are like a family person. My kids was gonna come with me today. You oh, see, hung up. Look, see, look, 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 Okay, see, they can see, sat right nah, there. They would have been chilling. They would have yeah. been chilling. Look, we did the same thing. Like, yeah. unplanned, unplanned, but it just had to happen, and everybody's here. Team Light Skin is in the building. Mine's <laughs> unplanned because my daughter's a little, she's 17, so you know, she. 
But she, but she looking like little Erica Ocean. She could look like me. Look at that, looking like little I'm Erica Ocean. Yeah, I'm playing. Yo, the you whole, know what? The whole weekend was let's let, let's go to a quick break, and we'll be right back with more grind season bag. Let's go. What's up, y'all? We are back. It's your boy Shaq's the voice of Brooklyn. Your girl Erica Ocean. DJ Tazzy on the mic. <laughs> AKA the Brown Ranger. Yeah, AKA the Brown Ranger. Let's not forget that. And if you just tuned in, AKA Mr. Clean. Sorry, my bad. And if you just tuned in, we got our special guest today, Mr. Grind Season Vague. Yes, what's up? what's up? So behind the scenes, we were chopping it up. You have a lot going on. A lot. How do you find time to do half of the stuff that you do? And I got a reg I got a regular job too. What? Yeah. See, no, wait a minute. Wait no. a minute. But you know the misconception? Got People good think that to five. because you do certain things that you cannot have a regular nine to five. No, I got like a good job. Like I I've been at my job for like five years. Like I'm a purchasing manager at a renovation company. Really? Oh nice. Yeah. See, now okay. I have motivation because I kept saying, I don't know how I'm going to keep this 9 <laughs> to 5 and do what I'm doing because... Yeah. I mean, I've been in my job for so long and, and, and they know me and they know who I am outside of work and all that. Because, you know, they, I've been there for five years. So, right. like, every time that they turn around, I've got to go to L.A., Miami, or I'm going to, to Germany. And so, they, they like, see, that's you know, dope, Like, how you traveling on, on, on our salary like that? You know what I'm saying? So, that's so they ask questions. And, you These know, are paid gigs. These so, are big is I'll pay you my salary after. I'll pay you for the time you know, like, nobody could, I mean, you know, everybody's replaceable, but right now nobody could do my job how I do it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, see, like, that's how you got to do it, though. You got to show them. We all family, you know what I'm saying? They don't want to bring somebody else to squeeze them in what, what the system we had going right. on already. So right. they work, like, if I got to travel, I'll make sure, like, it's, like, during the weekends, like, gigs like that, you know what I'm saying? What's that the way, saying? You know, if it's not broke, don't fix it. Facts. Yeah, that's what it is. I got so, that. We got a reality show that we filmed already, so we shopping that now for Queen of the Ring. Oh, really? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. How okay. can I be down? Like, don't you want to be down? Like, how do you? I do want to. I want to shout out Babs though, because Babs is in a web series that I was in, also called uh, Stories of New York. You the can hit. say that. Yeah, time. yeah. I'm, I'm in What's that up, too. B? Yeah. So I want to shout out. So what were y'all like? Uh, I feel kind of like a partly uh, celebrity because she's in it. Although we never take 
together. Oh, you know. That's that 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 down the earth. Show. Come up here. It do count. We in the that same web series. We in the same. Because I, 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 so I was at shot uh, together or something. No, I was at. I was gonna say with the way I like a like a ghetto uh, nah, salt pepper. You know what I'm saying? Come no, it's watch out. No, we are. We are. We a part of a group that light niggas up. Gotta watch I it. didn't, I didn't you, but you coming. didn't chew with us, so you didn't like nobody else. Because that episode didn't come up yet. Listen, as light as your ass is, God. you don't need to like nothing else. Up here. Listen, get up here. come on, let's go. You get, you send a phone call and you let me know. All right, yeah. Hey, we, we talking to you, Babs. Babs. Babs will come up. Brooklyn Babs. Mm -hmm. So I'm with it. Like, let's get it. I'm I'm curious to see what she's Check up to. Check out stories of New York the hit. YouTube Red, they try to throw me like a deal too. Like, they want really? to what is YouTube like, Red? What is like that? Like a new Netflix, like a low low budget Netflix on YouTube. But oh, yo, okay. they're trying to do a lot because they're trying to shut cable out. But you like, they need YouTube, to. Cable right. mad expensive. YouTube could be no bigger reason. than Netflix if they really put the machine behind it. They, I YouTube Red so. or white Netflix. Everybody out. go to yo, YouTube. I mean, the YouTube series is dope though. Right. They are. Like they be they now YouTube they, Red is something different, right? Like it's not it's like on YouTube, but it's like you it's gotta like pay for never, yeah, you yeah, gotta yeah, pay for a lot of stuff. Free trial is up, so I need to go check that out to they see if they this, charge they my card. They wanted to do a show, but they wanted like some Puerto Rican oh. Ti type shit. Really, you know what I'm saying? Because you know, at the time, me and my wife, you know, they used to see us on on Instagram with chicks and all that. Like, <laughs> like, so they was like, bingo, we want to do that. They wanted us to have like a girlfriend. And then my other baby mama. Like a reality cool show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's cool with my wife. So they wanted it to be like me, my wife, my other baby mama, my first baby mama, mm -hmm. our girlfriend, and all our children. Time out. out. Why not? Wait, it works. I'm it happens. so I curious mean, right nah, now. It happens. It happens. Let me ask you this. <laughs> all right. So your wife didn't mind having a girlfriend. We had a girl girlfriend. See, I like, see how he said we. Now, how do y'all? How did you come to that point where y'all realized that both of y'all wanted that? Um, she I let her realize, it. yeah, exactly. She she initiated it. So yeah, once just, she initiated it, it's just smooth sailing from there, cause now you yeah. don't really have. I, to I don't got, and it wasn't fake. It wasn't her doing it for me. Right, right, right. That's like, what makes it better. Here's a hit. We spoke about it. And she was like, yeah, fucking. Like, See, I'm it. I'm always curious about that, right? Because how how do y'all pick one the girl that y'all gonna be with? I let her pick. You let her pick. Yeah. All she the knows time? my taste. Yeah, she knows my taste. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you know what it is? I mean, we're not together, but what it is, like, if I pick the girl, uh -huh. I don't want her feeling insecure. Like, right. Like, he likes her. You know what I'm saying? But have you ever, and, and, I don't know, I'm kidding. Have you ever felt like, damn, shorty, the side chick is dope, maybe doper than my wife? Never. Never? Wow! How could she I still be don't No, I'm just no. Cause listen, let's let's be, let's call it spade a spade. Mm -hmm. Everybody has a different talent, right? Everybody has different talents. Nah, but the love I have for my wife was right, that's what I was that, that's not even the baddest bitch in the world. Cause I done been right. around the baddest bitches in right. the world. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's what I'm talking about. You know, I mean, I'm still with my wife. But the the fact that she's riding or dying, like no, you know? I'm, I'm good with that. I'm not saying like nothing between that. But now, how have you ever had a chick? Y'all was like, all right. This is over. And they'd be like, uh uh, this ain't happening. Nah, 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 nah. nah. No? Nah, nah, nah. Really? Yeah, nah, I know how, we know how to make a bitch feel uncomfortable. Like, <laughs> like that's, that's, we know yeah. how to make somebody feel uncomfortable. So, uh uh, like, boo boo. They ain't even want to even go there and say, uh uh. You know what I'm saying? We like, thugging around. So, y'all ever had to tell a girl, like, yo, you overstaying, you're welcome. You gotta go. Nah, 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 nah. From the beginning, you gotta, you gotta set rules and all that. Mm. Remember, that's two women you're dealing with. That's right. two personalities. One had a period. I should finish the album and get it. It's, uh, that's a, that's oh. a man. Yeah, nah. I can't do two periods at one time. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, cra it's crazy. It's crazy. So, I didn't like it, though. It was fun for the night or for the weekend, but I, I didn't like it to be like So it's just something you like to do randomly. If I was like to do that now, it would have to just be I have two girlfriends, not with my wife and a girlfriend. You know what I'm saying? Right. I wouldn't want to do that again. Why not? Because... Uh, that's your wife. I don't think now, you know what I'm saying? I I, I don't think you, that's something you should have with your wife. If it's just your girl or something, right, right. Inside, yeah. girl, but your wife, you know what I'm saying? Like that was a mistake I made. You know what I mean? But it worked out for you. So yeah, it, 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 didn't, it didn't bite you in the ass. So no, we're not together now, but well, you know, but it didn't bite you in the ass. Nah, 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 it, nah, was, nah, it was a perfect plan. Yeah, yeah, nah, nah, <laughs> nah, it, was, it was it was it was fun. CEO and co CEO just Yeah, but I, I wouldn't suggest to do like a man to do that with his wife. Like if right. you got a girl, whatever, whatever, like all right, that's your little girlfriend or whatever. Yeah, I could do that, go get chicks and all that. Right. But. I'm always worried like, yo, if you do that, 
like you walk out of the house, you're not worried about the girl coming over and just you and your wife and your girl, and then you be like, yo, what is she liking this too much and nothing like that. Mm. It never crossed your mind, though. I used to be like, maybe y'all need to smash by yourself. I used to suggest that sometimes. Really? Yeah. Like, I'm going I'm to leave y'all. Because I can get y'all any time, so. Right. Y'all, y'all want to bond a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Let me, well, I'm going to go to the club. Then. I'm going to go to the strip club and go chill. See, you know, I, I, go, I, I got to hang out with Grind. Like, that, that, that right there, I got to I'm Muslim, like, so my mind is trained different. Uh. You know what I'm saying? My, my, it's militant. I got you. Know, you. My I dad see. and my mom and my step pops and all that, they was like, bro, militant. Mm. And you know, I, I believe in a Muslim um, religion. You can have more than one wife if you're able nah, to afford like that, them. That's the Muslims like Africa. And oh, that's hey, the I'm Muslim. Muslim. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. He said, no, don't I, try, I, don't I, try. I pray and all that, and, right. like, and I fast during Ramadan and all that. Like, I, I really do that. My myself. daughter was interested in uh, becoming Muslim. She said that um, Christianity just didn't do it for her so she was looking into being a muslim so. that's dope do you ever feel like your religion probably uh conflicts with some of the stuff that you do nobody's perfect and god understands that right so you're gonna catch me around weed and around doing a bunch of stuff but i'm still gonna make my prayers and try to be as righteous as possible right you know what i'm saying like i'm still trying to not put that around my kids and raise them the right mm-hmm. way so god sees all that but you know sometimes you, you got to do things to survive like, I'm going to be in situations I'm not supposed to right. be in. In right. a strip club, you're not supposed to be in there. Even though I'm not doing nothing, I'm just not supposed to be there. But, right. you know, like, God is there. Sometimes, boy, that booty, the flesh is weak. Temptation. Whoa. I mean, I have fun now. I go to strip club. I'm single, so I go to strip clubs. I, I, I you know what I mean? I, I be just chilling, partying, you know what I mean? But I'm focused, you know what I mean? I got goals. Like, Once your intentions is good, then I believe whatever bad surroundings or circumstances you're in, would be overlooked because your intention is good. I still like to have fun, you know what I mean, and, and, and do my thing, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't get that <laughs> twisted, you know. But, you know, I'm not perfect. Right. No one so, is. Yeah, but God. Right, that's a fact. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm going to make mistakes and I'm going to continue to make mistakes forever. Yo, let me tell you this. The first time I think I met you was at Cat Boogie Show. Was it Cat Boogie Show, DSM? Yeah, it was Cat Boogie show. No, was it Cat Boogie or was it uh it was oh, show. Yeah, it was um the other girl. No, we're not gonna say it. You know. I don't even uh, know. I remember you, but I don't know who she got. <laughs> Hop out, my man. You know what I'm saying? Whoever that. <laughs> That's what I'm at. So I need in on this joke. Not, no, I really don't remember. <laughs> I, need I remember him though. The reason yes. we That's just not gonna say her name, but we'll talk about it at, matter of fact, let's go to a quick break and come back because we got some more to talk about with Grind and what he's doing and what's coming up yeah. all right so we'll be back right after this what up y'all it's your boy shites the voice of brooklyn from we got that tv and we got that radio make sure you stay tuned because we're going to be doing a lot of events right here on 14th street Sports bar and restaurant located at 3085 14th Street in Astoria, Queens. We got the hottest bartenders, we got the best food, so make sure you come down on 14th Street Sports Bar and Restaurant located at 3085 14th Street, Astoria, Queens. Yo, so make sure you come down. Tell them Shy sent you. Got that. All right, y'all, we are back with our special guest, Grind Season. Yeah. Big. So. Yo, you are working on a project that we were just talking about, uh, Disrespectfully Drunk? Yeah. All right, I make sure I, I had to get that right. Disrespectfully So, drunk. tell us about what that is. Um, it's going to be like Drink Champs with the Joe Budden Podcast. Oh. Mm. Oh, so oh, you're going to be oh, disrespectful. Okay. Yeah. Nobody For knows real. It. Now is our time. Mm. Um, I mean, they, like, they got they, they in their lane, they in their lane, now we, we in our lane. So, why come up with that now? Um, I had a podcast, mm-hmm. and I had to stop because 
the podcast was bringing me nothing but negative, like nothing but bad vibes to the podcast. Like I was bringing strippers in the podcast, and that didn't sound negative. And, and we was just acting. We was acting a fool. That sounds positive to me. Nah, we was acting a fool, Not and it was affecting me in my personal life. It, it was affecting me in my personal life. Uh, yeah, that that could be a problem. Drunk on a podcast, <laughs> oh, yeah, getting high on a podcast. But you sound like you're gonna get drunk on this podcast too. Yeah, we are. But <laughs> I, now I know my limits, like with the guests. Okay. Before it was like, yo, no I limit. want you to Just push strawberries in his mouth from your mouth, and he's <laughs> acting crazy. Like, like we was going over the top. Of it. How we start? Yeah, like that. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Tazzy had to eat that way. Oh, that was stunning. Okay. Right. My mentor, comes my in mentor that is personally. Star. Star really gave me game on how to do radio. Mm. Shout out to my big brother Star and Buck, too. Buck is my big <laughs> Yo. I had a crazy story with Buck. Yo, around. he kind of opened up the game, though. Yeah. Because before him, there was nobody really doing what he did. Like, uh, how we see radio today. You know what I'm saying? With him, the uh, the radio game opened up a little better. A lot of money is being brought into the radio, and how people act and perceive things on the radio is different, right? Before everybody had to be a certain way. Yeah. Now you can be you on the radio, and it's all right. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When it's so crazy, when I first was doing uh, my show at the Matrix, uh huh. I was, that was Star's my mentor. Like, he gave me all the games for years. Like, I know him personally, that's my man. Right. Like, we was going to do a situation where DWI would be like, yo, you got to chill, you got to chill. I'm like, what? I'm like, I'm just being myself. Right. <laughs> like, and people in there listening. Mm -hmm. Right. Like, now you can't diss the artist because they're not going to want to come back and be on another show. And so I was like, all right, I told you down, whatever. But then anyway, I ended up leaving. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, leaving Matrix. And um, other shows came there and started doing that. And it was okay. Right. See, that's the full crap. Shout out to my Uncle Doug. Keep watching. Then I went to the podcast at Success Radio where they gave me 100% do what you want. They just gave me a microphone and an engineer. Check, go. Do what you want. And then I went crazy. Went ham. I was doing too much. Like, too, too much. Like, it got to a point where I couldn't even put up the shows. Like, Wait, I don't mean to laugh because I be the one over here. Like, if I see something going left, too far left, I be trying to like bring it back. Like, no, okay, nah, we, let's we, not go there. Come on, on, let's bring it back. Let's bring it back. We had one week we would do guy code. I would bring rappers, and then the next week we do ladies night. But I would bring like, and then there was a big room. So oh, if you wasn't even on the show, opportunity, you just chilling. Yeah, in the it was, background. If it wasn't you wasn't on the show, you could still be there. I would right. post up like, what well, girls want to come to the show this oh. weekend. Man. DM, 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 yeah, pull I up. Could you know imagine how crazy yeah, it got really, it got real crazy. So we had to, had to, yeah, yeah, I had to pump my brakes with that. I just you had to probably stop. Probably wasn't born yet, Tazzy. I just well, had to just stop. I'm man. just saying. You know what I'm saying? My father had died. It was just everything was going bad. Like, mm. I was just like, yo, it's this shit. Yo, I have a question. Somebody hit me from LA, right? And I have a song that they want to play. And we usually do something called. The chopping block, the chopping block, the chopping block, the chopping block. Let's get it started. The chopping. So I want you to listen, and I want you to give your feedback. Her name is Bonnie Dollars, out in LA. Somehow I made it out of the rain. I made it through all the pain. I know I can do it again. Somehow I made it over the cloud. I made it out of the wild. Raise me. Yeah. Better hope they don't choose you. Everybody think it's cool shit. Yeah. Till they go against the thunder. Right. Until they gotta make a statement. Yeah. Until they gotta take a number. Yeah. Yeah. The hood ain't for cool kids. Yeah. Even though I keep a cool whip. Yeah. Even though I make a cool flip off a whole bag of that cool shit. Nah. But back to reality. Yeah. Who would've thought I could live my dream? Who would've thought I could build a team off a of street cred and my loyalty? Fuck a title, no King James. Nigga, run me them six rings. Going hard like a red bull, cause the money bags give me real wings. Under pressure, I don't fold. Swear to God, I ain't never told. Everybody turned their back on me. It's fucked up, but my heart cold. But I'm a survivor. I'm a survivor. Yeah, I'm a survivor. Yeah. Try to knock me 
going down. It ain't going down. It ain't going down. Haters try to hate. Get from around them. Nigga, you can't pull me down. Look at me, look at me now. Somehow, I made it out of the rain. I made it through all the pain. I know I can do it again. Somehow, I made it over the cloud. I made it out of the wild. I did it all with a smile. Alright y'all, once again that was Bonnie Dollars out in Crenshaw, LA from the Slauson area representing that Blue Face Entertainment. So, what do you think about that uh, grind season? Um, I know this is going to sound a little crazy, but this, this is just reality. Uh huh. It's good for a record coming out of Crenshaw. Uh -huh. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because right. you wouldn't expect an artist from Crenshaw to make a record like that. So it's good uh -huh. for that. You know, they touch up the vocals a little bit, like mix mix the hook a little more, okay. a little different with the auto tune and everything. I think it'd be a dope record. But what you need to do is you want to get a fast check, sell, sell it to a label, sell that record to a label. Mm. I, think, I think that'll fit like Scissor. That's the name, right? Uh -huh. like, you sell that to her A and R, so they get that record. That 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 that'll blow. So you think the song definitely got potential? It got potential. You have to put a lot of money behind it. Mm. Okay. Being honest, that's how the game is. Like, if you want that record, it could pop. But you gotta put a lot of money behind it. Okay, Tazzy, what you think? It's, it's cool. I like. I, I was vibing to it. It's something you could vibe to. But that, that's just my opinion. I think. I think her style might be a little unorthodox. Let's give it to the female. I like the lyrics. She was talking about being a goon and all of that. I like that. That's kind of my yeah. That's, that's my your life. Lane. That's your lane. I'm pretty, I, I, but I'll get you. I like the chorus. The chorus is definitely catchy. Like. You know what I'm saying? The chorus definitely grabbed me and you know, I I, I seen it pain. You know, mm -hmm. I I seen nice little struggle, nice so, going. Uh, you know, so I, like I, I can definitely I see like me it. It right cuz you can definitely get, catch yourself on a uh, on a creek black somehow, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so definitely thought that was dope. The chorus is definitely no. catchy. So, I like I say, it definitely has potential. Like if they gave that record no. its hook and the yeah. beat, gave it like to Cardi B, it'll fly. Oh, definitely. So, that was dope. So, definitely shout out to Bonnie Dollars out in LA right now. Yeah, that's dope. So, Grind, what's up, man? What's coming up with you? Oh, um, I'm traveling. I'm going, to Miami. I'm, going to be, I'm going to uh back to Germany in March, March 12th. I'm back to Germany out there. Then I'm going to go see my sister in Japan. They got a gig out there for me in Tokyo. Mm -hmm. And that's April 17th. It's my little birthday. Um, Queen of the Ring, you know what I'm saying? We shop, we shop in this, uh, uh, this reality show. That's, that's my one priority right now. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't do a deal with YouTube, right? Oh. It, it just didn't make sense. It was just going to be too much and a lot of filming and all that to do that. Right. But we got on the reality show. We, we signed to the Bratz um, production company. Really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you working big time, player. Yeah, yeah, I just want you know how to name drop real quick. Okay, you know, okay, you know, shout out to the Brat. Shout out to the Brat's big sister right there. Like, every time we touch LA, like, we were Every mm. time. We actually was with our homeboy that did the All Eyes on Me movie. Oh, the Tupac. Got the the Tupac. Yeah, this was 2016, we was with I believe. Yeah, 2016 in October. We mm. saw that shit. Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I we see. We were out there as the Brat's people. He got, he, we, we, we doing some things out there, you know what I'm saying? Like, we shopping them to all the networks. Like, a lot of networks, they want, like, shit like Team Moms. Okay. So they wanted us to make the girls fight on the show and do all that. And we oh, like, yo, what do we think look we like? Got women, like we got enough fighting. We got enough Especially, TV and then I can get a back, I can get a backlash on that because I'm a man. Right. right. You know right. what I'm saying? So right. like, look, you got a man encouraging girls to fight. It's yeah. not like if it's girls doing it. Right. It's not like if it was Babs by herself. Right. right. It's you, you know yeah, definitely. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So now, you know, and, and Babs is supposed to work on her. She got like a little something coming. You know what I'm saying? Something okay, real good. let's see. She got something real good coming. Like, y'all oh. gonna be like, get, Stay get the fuck out of here. Yeah, so we're gonna have Babs come up here and uh, tell us all about that. She got, she got some things doing. You know, we just working. I mean, we got a Queen of Ring event coming up probably like in a month or two. Okay, dope. You know saying? Don't yeah. forget to send that info. Yes. Uh, I got you. I got you. I got you. Y'all gonna be there. Definitely need to be there. Yo, what is the biggest moment um, so far in your career? I think when uh, 
I think when we did the, uh, when we put together, the, how Snoop Dogg put together the Gladiator Score, man. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had to tour on the BET Awards and all that. This, see? Yeah, like, we was there. This yeah. boy working, boy! Yeah, I'm just not... I don't, I'm not a type that every time I see a celebrity, like right. that, I think that makes people uncomfortable because it makes it me do, uncomfortable. Especially right. like if they on personal time and y'all there for personal like, things. We like, just chilling the in the way. studio, vibing with Uncle Snoop, and we smoking and all that. Right. I'm not the type that exactly. like, yo, unk, like, yo, yo yeah. look, like, right. I think that's corny because yeah, so. let's say like you brought somebody here and they saw me and they fans and all that. Like, mm -hmm. right. I don't want them all up on me trying to take right. mad pictures, Fashion. take one picture, picture, I right, that's it. But like trying to have the phone in my face is just uncomfortable. Right. That's Sometimes totally you you come to do what you just came to do around. Dash, uh, every, everybody, it's a Fat Joe, big big celebrities, like big celebrities. You know what I'm saying? I've been around Puff, like I'm right mm -hmm. here, and Puff is sitting right there, but I won't dare take right, my phone exactly, out. Right, exactly, exactly. It's like, the time and the place for all that. So that's why people don't really know how I be moving, cause I'm not, and I'm not with the social media shit like that. Like I play around on social media, but it's fake. Right. Like, none of it is real. Right. Like you know what I'm saying? Like. People get excited over, you got a hundred likes, so I got five likes. We made the same amount of money off of it. Right. Nothing. Absolutely. <laughs> Mine's is all real, but nothing. And I will say this. I just take selfies. And I will say this. That's you it. are a person with all the likes and all the people that you have on Facebook. You do follow back. And I will say that, like, that was dope. And he interacts. And he just followed me back today. Oh, God. Just throwing it out there. Lord. <laughs> just throwing it out there. I was oh, following I him from the other back. day. So. Well, Tazzy, that's because you're right, a brown I, I, I appreciate it. No more. It's, it's fake. Like, I yeah. follow people that I actually know. Right. Right. Makes you know sense. what I'm saying? I'm not going to be like, you, I'm following you because you look good. I don't really care about that. Right. right. It's just not going to get me no bread. It's just going to get me in trouble. Exactly. <laughs> you know exactly. Know <laughs> it's, it's, gonna, it's not going to get me no bread. It's just going to get me in trouble. So I'm like, I don't need to follow everybody anyway. I want right. to see what the people I know is doing, not some random girl selling weaves. Right. Like, why well, I'm following your weave page. Yo, I got like 800 weave page following me. Yo, why do I, I have... I don't even wear I, And weave. that might be I'm because of you, because I never had a weave page, like somebody following me on weave, but all of a sudden... They spies. Man, I, think they, they spy. I think it's because of you. It is. Ever probably. since you've been on the show, yes. I get weave uh, people they, following they me. They watch like, what is that? what I'm doing. Yeah, I don't, I don't play I that. I guess. Social media. I don't even wear weave. Like, I wear wigs. That's the relationship killer. Like social media is just is, everything about it is fake and bad and negative. I just do it because I have to do it. Right. But now, and like, use it for the emotions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the bad part. That's the bad part. Like, when people get. They mad. will post the post about you instead of texting you or calling you. They'll post it. Yeah. I yo, I hate when people you do know and you have like numbers for them. Exactly. They want to hit you on in social right, media. Right, you be like, you right. know me. Right. Like, DMing. like, yeah. Why are you DMing me? Call me on my jack. Like, we, <laughs> like, I know you. Like, you don't know my personal. Right. Account. Like, I be like, and I be mean, sometimes I catch myself looking at this shit. Like, why are you doing that? What is the weirdest thing you got in your DM? <laughs> <laughs> yo, this dude. <laughs> yo, yo, this dude hit me up and all that. He was like, yo, I'm gonna fly you. I'm gonna fly you out. I'm gonna fly you to the UK. Uh huh. Boom, hold up, hold up. It's real. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna fly you to the UK. He said, but I, I don't know if this is appropriate for them. But he was like, I wanna I'm gonna pay you uh -huh. three thousand because oh. I wanna watch you hit my, oh. my chick. Oh. Oh. Right. Oh. Like, nah, but we was like just three thousand? I wanna say you had two more. To right, right. Just to just to watch me hit his joint. I was gonna I, I, you yeah, the I was <laughs> Yeah. So, so what happened? I could have been your assistant. I need to travel with you because I just would have went to him like. I'm, nah, like, I'm the hey, camera guy. Exactly. I don't hold the camera. Nah, he only wanted to pay for one flight, and I was like, I'm not doing that. Oh I'm no, I'm not going by, by myself. myself. Absolutely right. not. Pay too exactly. But he sent me some bread ahead of time. Oh, really? Oh, he yeah, was yeah, he sent me Serious. Well, when yeah. I got out there, he was gonna give me the um. 22. Oh, okay. So he said, "Yo, I'm gonna." Yo, and no, 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 it's not even over. Like I used to talk to him on WhatsApp. Like his girl be on the phone with me and all that. Like. Really? She used to get naked on the WhatsApp and all that. Like, mm, she must have been liking your pictures already. Probably. So he said, you Yo. know what, let me take control of it. Word, let me, let me <laughs> since, let you're, me since exactly. I can't stop you, exactly. let me just help you out. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. bring some you, love back to this video. videos all the time about her by herself and all mm, that. Mm, so, mm. Yeah. what? That was weird. Before was. we get out of here, what would be Grand Season Vague's legacy when it's all said and done? what I contributed to female hip hop. Cause mm. Green and Ring ain't just battle rap. These girls have an opportunity to blow up and be the biggest star. Absolutely. And, and they're already it. stars. They're already yeah. stars. So we already contributed to female hip hop. Female hip hop. 
You know what I'm saying? Something that nobody helped out. Mm. So I, I have a question. Do you feel like the Queen of the Ring helped the females get into the cipher on the BET? Like, Absolutely. Because I remember Absolutely. years ago, it wasn't no females in there, but the main ones, like, you know, maybe a Kim or somebody like that. But Yeah, they did that because of us. We yeah. Give us our credit. Like, yes. y'all, everybody right. started getting female artists. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Everybody started wanting to work with more females mm -hmm. now. Right. That's all because of us. We made, and I'm a t me and Babs going to take this credit at Devo. We made it cool to be a female rapper. Absolutely, right. I agree. And I that's agree. a and that's a man saying that. They want to be a rapper though. Yo, but what was dope was when I was when I like when they combined. I think it was Queen of the Ring. And was was it King of the Ring? Nah, probably. Or was it uh, when, when, when y'all put Atlanta? together and they, they they was in the ring with the female rapper versus the male rapper? Oh, oh, no, nah, we used to call it a battle of the sexes. There you go. Mm. That 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 like, that, that was a man. We would bring a, a dude from the URL to come and be like Tay Rock. T Rex, like yeah, you know, battle with chick, that's daylight, cool. you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, but that that's gonna be my legacy, like what I contributed to female hip hop. And like, that we, we made it cool for that. Like once Queen of the Ring started popping in millions and millions of views, all these female artists started coming out of nowhere. Out of the blue, like right. everywhere. All of a sudden, they're not shy no more. Now Wisconsin. they want to. Yo, and that's a fact. Nowadays, you see so many females coming out of the blue now, and, and it's dope. But you know, is it? But listen. Don't think that because you're a female, you just gonna get on. Uh, you have oh, to have skills. Oh, you, have to. you have to listen. This game is not about male or female. It's about skills and internet presence. And internet presence. Absolutely. I was about to say your look. So, grass nah, not your look, cause you can look stupid but be funny. <laughs> and then you got all those followers, and then they'll, they'll buy anything you sell. Them. So, yo, we just want to say thank you for yo, tuning in with man. us, man. Yo. Please tell everybody how they can follow you on Tro social media. Just troll me on Instagram, Grind Season Babe. There you go. Once you go to once you go there, you'll catch everything else you need to catch, whatever you need to catch me. Grind Season Babe on Instagram. That's it. I'm always on the gram. I'm, I'm That's V A G U E. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't oh. troll me though. Don't troll me. Don't troll <laughs> no kids in my pic no pictures of my kids in there. <laughs> we're good. We won't get blocked. My block list look like the guest list to the puppies or white party. <laughs> don't play with me. Like I'll block you for any little dumb stuff because I don't want none of that negative stuff on my social exactly. media. So Facts. you say one dumb thing about anything. You even ask me a dumb question, I'm a block. Like I don't need none of that negativity in my life. God bless y'all. I appreciate y'all for having me. Yo, definitely dope. Yo, we definitely gonna get you back here as soon as you got any projects that you wanna come and promote. Yeah. We always here, family. Let's get it going. Babs, we waiting to get you on here. Yes, we gonna get you over here. We calling you out now. So with that being said, tune in next week, twelve to two PM. All right, here on WVMR, and we got that. I'm your boy, Shakes, the voice of Brooklyn. I'm your girl, Erica Ocean. Keep it locked and tight. And you already know it's your boy, DJ Tazzy, a.k.a. the Brown Region, man. We do this.